what is going on you guys welcome back to another video so today we are going to be installing something that i think ford should have came with from the factory and that is hood struts as you can see these are ford performance hood struts maybe you can't see there you go ford performance hood struts that we're going to be installing and i understand the whole old school muscle style feel of having a hood prop on but it just makes things so much harder trying to work on your own car because not only do you have to worry about the hood staying up that rod gets in the way i don't know if you guys have ever done a header install just really on the right side of the car in general that prop starts to get in the way and really annoying after a while plus having to open the hood yourself i mean it is just a luxury just to have it's really not really that big of a deal but still i mean i feel like we're in these are 2018 cars well 2015 to 2021 cars i feel like they should have at least started to come with it by now but either way we're gonna be installing that, so let's get to it. All right, so this install seems like it's gonna be fairly simple. I mean, all we have is just two 10 millimeter bolts, one right there, and then one on this side as well that we have to worry about. There we go. So all we have is one bolt right there, and then basically same thing on the other side. So interestingly enough, these are actually 10 millimeter bolts. And so all you really need for this is I think a 10 millimeter and I think there's an Allen key we're gonna need. I haven't seen the instructions yet, so we're gonna take it apart and then see how it goes from there. So let's do that. So yeah, we're gonna need an Allen key. It looks like a six mil maybe. We'll find out though in a little bit. So let's go ahead and give it the install. Six mil Allen key right there. That's what gonna be needed to do. So let's go ahead and do that. So for this part, that opening, that we see right there is basically where we're gonna be feeding this guy into. And I think all that we have to do is just turn it like so. Let's put this camera down. Just like that. It does get turned this way. I think it goes outward. All right, now I'm checking the instructions. So apparently the driver's side and passenger side are two different ones. So on the driver's side, I don't know if you could see, but it's just that little piece right there. On this one, it has two little pins on it right there. And basically, I guess that has to do with aligning it. Also, the shape is slightly different. So let's go ahead and start taking this one out. Put that one in. There we go. This one's gonna be our passenger side. So we're driver's side now. And this piece has like a little locking mechanism on it too. You don't really have to worry about it, which direction it faces, because it can only face one direction right there. So let's go ahead and get our nut back. Put this guy on here just like so. Now we can get our strut. Slap this baby on here just like that. Now that our top piece is on, now let's get our Allen key. The Allen key that we're using is actually a six millimeter. That feels like 20 foot pounds right there. That was just a little guesstimate. Now all we have to do here, let's just lift up the hood a little bit. Beautiful. Now this side is installed. That was really simple actually. And even we got the Ford Performance logo right there, flexing, showing itself, beautiful. Now, time to do the other side. Now, on this side here, there is the battery cover that we do have to worry about. So first thing is taking this off. In the instruction sheet, um, it does come with a template. And what the template is supposed to do is I believe it's supposed to sit in that hole right there. Well, first you cut it out and then it sits in that hole right there and then you're supposed to line it up squared as much as you can and then basically drill right where that dot is. So let's go and do that. Now there is a little dot right there that we're just gonna take our punch to and then drill straight through. So let's go and do that now. Perfect. Now we have our hole drilled out. Now with our hole being drilled out, all we're going to do now, what I'm going to do at least, is I'm just going to cut a small incision right down it. And basically what I'm going to try to do is I'm just gonna to try to make an opening right there. It'll make it a lot easier to take the battery cover on and off. 
when the cut time comes. Same thing on this side. All we gotta do is just take this bolt off. Now 20 foot pounds. That feels about right right there. And just like that, we have our hood struts installed. You see this side here. And it also says board performance right there as you can see. And I probably rate this install like a three, four out of ten maybe. It's fairly simplistic, it's really straightforward. I mean everything is basically told for what you need to do for it. Other than that, now we have to do is just take uh whatchamacallit, check our uh, battery cover and we should be good. So our battery cover is just a little bit off as you can see there, so I'm just gonna drill even a wider hole just to the right of it there. My other option is to basically scoot the plate over just a little bit, but I mean, it's totally fine. I'd rather just, just drill another hole there, so let's do that. Perfect, as you can see, it fits perfectly. I just have to cut that piece off right there, and we're good to go. All right, and that right there is what I call a perfect fit. It's not the best, but I mean, it looks way cleaner right there, so then all we have to do now is just put in our battery plug right there. And we are done. All right, you guys, so that is actually gonna be it for today's video. I would be doing the clutch line as well because I was expecting it to come in, but it still has not showed up yet. So we're waiting on that one to show up, which will probably be in next video then. So next week, you guys will be seeing me putting in the clutch line. Hopefully it won't be a fail this time. You never know. But anyways, guys, this is how the car is looking now. And we have, do have our hood prop still attached right there. I don't feel like taking it off right now. I'm not in the mood to find somewhere to put it. But yeah, the hood is up on its own and everything. Let's test it out. Well, you guys, so it is officially installed. It seemed like a pretty install, right? Pretty easy install, I should say. I mean, it was pretty. Either way, you got the nice performance logo on there and everything like that. But anyways, guys. Venom is now, I guess, one step in being luxury. I don't know how you call it. It's it's easier. Let's just say that when popping the hood, opening up the hood, stuff like that. That is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, just drop it in the comment box down below. And other than that, I will link my Instagram. You can direct message me if you like. More than likely, nine out of ten times, I'll respond. Um, other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.